there, I am Chris Palmer, and in today's How to Deploy Local Business Schema for Multiple Locations video, what I'd like to share with you is the proper way to go ahead and deploy the local business schema if you have multiple business locations. So I've been asked countless times, Chris, what's the process? How do I go about doing this? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and follow the example that Google is going ahead and showcasing to walk you through exactly how you can deploy this. I'll give you actual examples so you can follow along. I'll share with you exactly if you're on a WordPress site, if you're on a static site, if you're using Duda, whatever you're using, I'll share with you exactly how you need to do this. So let's not waste any time. Let's get directly into it. But a word from our sponsor me <laughs> services.chrispalmermarketing.com for all of your white label seo needs so enough of that let's get into today's video which is going to be implementing local business schema so first and foremost what i did because i'm a visual learner i assume maybe hopefully you are as well what i did is i went out here and laid out three pages now just so we could catch up together the three pages that I went out here and I created are as follows, okay? The three pages are website.com, which is the home page. Then we have website.com forward slash service location one. So that's a location-based service page. So that's one location. But then they also have, this particular example has yet another location. So they have two locations. How do you go about deploying the schema? Now, as per the guidelines, if you go ahead and take a look, and if you look in the description below, I'll share with you this URL. Google actually goes ahead and gives us a absolutely phenomenal walkthrough with examples with code that I'm going to share with you right now in order to explain it to you a little bit better, better than just reading it, okay? So, in order to do this correctly, you have to go ahead and name on your homepage the different departments. So when you're on this particular page, if you scroll down, you're going to see a section that says multiple departments. Now, when you look at the multiple departments schema type, all right, it, it's not that schema, it's not named that, but how it's explained is, is multiple departments. When you go inside of here and you take a look here, you have your script, the type is store. So it's saying, hey, this is another store. And then it's giving you the schema that you need to add to the page in order to name each of your locations. So if you have two, then you would just name the two locations as different departments. Why? Because if you take a look at this and you read this, it will say for a business with multiple departments that have unique distinct properties, meaning maybe different phone numbers, different locations, different addresses, different maybe logos that you're using, so on and so forth. If they're distinctively different, then you want to name them as a different department or as a different store. And where you put this schema is on the homepage. So you'll list all of your locations on the homepage utilizing this particular schema example here. Okay. So when you come over here to my example, we take a look here. If you take a look right here, here's website.com. This is the homepage. That's where you want to go ahead and add this schema type, naming each of your stores. Now, on each of your internal location service pages, on each of your location pages, as you can see right here with my example, it's website.com forward slash service dash location one. Okay. And this is location page two. On each of those pages, you want to put your basic local schema for that actual location, meaning this. So on the home page, we've listed out all of the business locations utilizing the multiple department schema, right? Like the one that I just showed you right here. Multiple departments, we use this and we put this on the home page. Then for each of the internal pages, you're going to take your basic local schema. If we scroll up here to the very top, you'll see here that all this is is basic local business schema. It names the name of the business. It gives the actual address of the business. Sometimes you can add reviews and aggregate ratings. It'll tell you the author of it. Here's the geo coordinates. Here's the URL, the telephone number. If you're a restaurant, you'll add, you'll add your service, your cuisine, your prices. You can add and take away whatever you want. That's completely up to you. But on each of your internal pages, you're going to list that local business schema. So to reiterate, 
on the home page, you're going to list out each of your stores. If you scroll down here for an example, it'll tell you right here, multiple departments. Go ahead and add this. Here's the script. You can add this script, name each of your locations. Then on each internal page, you're going to create local business schema for that local business address, including all of these details. So the example that I'm showing here is exactly that. So if we come right over here and we were to zoom out, here's the home page, location page one, location page two. So here I've listed out all the de departments and all of the different addresses. On the internal location page, I made my regular local business schema, given the address, the phone number, the images, hours of operation, so on and so forth, the geo coordinates, everything. Then location page two, I did the same exact thing, but of course, it's a different location. It has different location schema. But every department is listed on the home page, and the example for all of this is right here on Google. They, they literally give it to us. Now, how do you implement this? All right. If you're a WordPress user, there's a lot of different ways that you can do this. So most of the builders like, or most of the plugins, SEO plugins, like all in one SEO plugin or SEO press, there's a way to have custom schema types. So you can go ahead and add, or, or there's a way to make types for individual pages or posts. All right. So you can have it done for you. So you don't have to type everything out. Now, if you want to just go ahead and do it manually, maybe you just want to do it more simple. Maybe you don't have the plugin, whatever the case is, you can literally use this example or a generator in order to create each of the schema types. The generator that I use is called Merkle. All right. So you can come over here to technical SEO Merkle schema generator. Okay. I'll go ahead and share this with you. If you come over here, you'll be able to generate each of the schema types. So when you log into here, if you take a look, article, breadcrumb, if you scroll into here, I'll share this one, here's local business. So then you could go ahead and fill out for each of your internal pages. Here's a generator to create, to create these. If you want to name the different departments, you can go right over to Google and grab their example. So this will be for your internal pages. And then for the home page, you just want to use this multiple location and Google gives you a great example of how you can go ahead and do this. You might have to clean it up if you don't want all this extra detail in here, like price ranges, you know, whatever you want to take away, you can, and whatever you want to include, you can. All right. I just want to give you the tool so you can do it. So home page, you're listing out each of the stores or departments internally on each of those pages. You're putting local business schema. Now back to this answer again, this last piece of it, if you have a SEO uh, plugin, SEO press or all in one SEO plugin, this will make it really easy for you to do, or you can just add it yourself utilizing the schema generator plus this particular walkthrough. Now, where do you put it, right? Or say you don't have an SEO plugin. I'm going to go ahead and refer back to this particular article here because they have the photos that I, I needed in order to showcase this. I don't generally use WordPress unless a client has it and I can't show all my client stuff, right? So what I can show you though, is this, if you take a look at this on each of your pages, see how this is pointing this out. This is a WordPress website. You see how you can click this. It says edit as HTML. See the, see the three dots edit is HTML or what you can do here is look, see how this is. This is what uh, WordPress looks like in the top right hand corner here. See these three dots. You can change to the code editor. Now what we generally do. All right. And I'm sure a lot of you maybe are already doing this is instead of loading it first inside the head in the head, what you can do is you can literally edit the code and put your script inside of the body content. So this way Google's going to read it, but it, Google's not going to load it first. So it's not slowing up your site. It's not being loaded first. It'll load the content first. And that way your script is being loaded with the content. All right. So for your local business schemas and other schemas too, if you want, you can put it inside the body content. It will be read. And if, and if, you know, you could take my word for it or not, but if you go take a look at Moz's site, Moz, you know, huge conglomerate SEO company, digital marketing company. They put all of their schema inside the body content. So 
just just as a <laughs> I'm just saying, right? I'm not the only one that does this. Lots of lots and lots and lots of companies do this. It it speeds up the site. It just makes it a lot better, a lot easier to deploy. But this is how you'll add it into the body content if you're using WordPress. You can click these three dots here and add it, or you can go ahead and use it this way, all right? Now, again, I've given you two uh, plugins. I've given you a generator that you can utilize. I shared with you how you could do it inside WordPress. Now, let me show you how I do it inside of Duda. So inside of here, to go through our examples, very easily, if I'm doing this, say, on WordPress, okay, or on Duda, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come inside of here. I'm going to click on a widget. And I'm sure you can do this too. I'm going to add a custom HTML code. Now, remember that example. Okay. If we come back over here to the local business schema, see where it says multiple departments. This is the script that I'm going to list out each of my locations and add this to the home page. Now, when I'm going into my internal pages, say I want to put a, a different, I have a new location in New York. I'm going to create local business schema for the New York page and I'm going to come over here and I'm going to add the basic local business schema, probably this one, to each of those pages. So really you're naming them twice, once on the home page, one on the internal page. Now I hope this helps you. I hope that I pointed out the right tools. I hope I pointed you in the right direction. Check the uh, description box. I'll go ahead. This will give you the full code walkthrough. But I've gone through this quite thoroughly. I hope that this really helps you out. I've showed you in WordPress. If you're using a static website, it's literally the same thing. You could put it inside the body content. If you're using a static website, you know how to edit body content, right? If you're using WordPress, you can use plugins or you could click those buttons just like this. This article here will literally share with you if you're not sure how to find stuff. It's kinsta.com. If you search how to edit WordPress code, this is the ranking number one article. That's why I chose it. Here's the walkthrough on how you can edit the code manually. I've given you my schema markup generator. So this way you can generate the internal page local business schema if you need to. And of course, again, here's the complete walkthrough utilizing Google Search Central. They're literally giving it to us. If there's anything else I could help you with, please feel free to ask in the section below. And of course, I always look forward to seeing you in the next how to implement local business schema for multiple locations video. Thank you so much. I hope that this has been helpful for the client that asked. I hope that this answers the question that you were asking me. I hope this helps you of where to put it, how to do it, put name your businesses on the homepage and then make individual local business schema for those inner pages. As a secondary note, that other question that you asked me, I'm sure you're watching this video. <clears throat> if you've sticked with me this far, you know that 30 page schema that you were thinking? Limit that down, right? Like you don't wanna throw off the SERP. You don't need 30 pages of schema. You wanna be robust, but you don't wanna go overboard. If you take a look here and you read in red, okay? You don't, look at, if your site violates one or more of the guidelines, and if you take a look, if you're, if you're calling things inside of microdata that shouldn't be there, it can potentially cause an issue. I'm not saying that it will, but it could, and you never know what Google's gonna do tomorrow. So watch your back, only mark up things that are actually there, don't just add stuff, and best wishes to you. Many blessings, I look forward to seeing you in the next one, hopefully this helps you that, are, that you're watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much, goodbye. No, not goodbye, I'll see you later. <laughs> Local business schema for internal pages, multiple locations, video, I'll see you.